But the issue taking center stage right now, separating immigrant parents from their children after entering the country illegally. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in MacArthur Park right now, where a march for families to stay together is about to get underway. Dave? Well, the word they're using is zero tolerance. That's the reason for all the separation behind me over my left shoulder as Marvin Stone pans across. You can see the crowd is growing here at MacArthur Park, right at the corner of Wilshire and Alvarado. They were expecting a crowd of anywhere from four to 600 people. It's not that large yet. And they are going to march here once they get started, maybe in about an hour or so, from here to Pershing Square and then from Pershing Square directly to the federal building downtown right off of Alameda. They're here for one purpose, to vent their frustration, their anger, and their complete Dis, complete disgust, if the right word is to use, with the idea that families trying to cross the border when they're caught are being separated from their children. According to the U.S. Board of Patrol, in one week, May 6th to the 13th, nearly 700 children were taken away from their parents as they tried to illegally cross into the United States. It's all part of Attorney General Jeff Sessions' zero tolerance policy, and the reaction has been swift. And this comment from Kirsten Nielsen, Homeland Security. United States, if you break the law, you go to jail and you're separated from your family. It shouldn't be any different for illegal immigrants. It has created a firestorm of protest. Yesterday in Washington, members of Congress marched in the streets. Today, House Speaker Paul Ryan said this about the controversy. This is because of a court ruling. And so this, I do think, ought to be addressed. We believe it should be addressed in immigration legislation. So what's happening at the border and the separation of parents and their children is because of a court ruling. That's why I think legislation is necessary. And that legislation will not uh, come up in front of Congress until next week, I am told. So in the meantime, the zero policy and the separation of families will continue. To give me just a couple of quick numbers. So far, none of this has happened at the U.S.-Mexico border. Nothing in San Diego, nothing in San Ysidro, uh, nothing uh, in Otay Mesa. None of that has happened yet, although tomorrow uh, federal, uh, the federal government is going to have an open house, if you will, in El Cajon, showing where they're going to house some of these children when the separation happens there. But some numbers, uh, just outside of El Paso, a tent city has now been set up where 450 children will be placed on cots in tents while they're separated from the parents. And in uh, one shelter in Brownsville, Texas, it's filled. 1,500 boys separated from their mothers and fathers, all between the ages of 10 and 17, all in that camp. Back to you in the studio.